Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful collective. <clears throat> my name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for you all. I want to see what's coming and going out, going on with y'all during these holiday seasons. See if there's going to be some shenanigans over there stuffing. <laughs> I will everyone is peace. I will everyone is well. I will all is blissed in your world. This will be a general reading, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This is also a timeless reading, so whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, it's exactly divine time and intended for you all to do so. So for anyone who may be new, my name is Q. Welcome. And this is um, <clears throat> going to be a collective reading. Like I said, I usually read for Scorpios. I too am a Scorpio. Um, but I am starting to do collective reads so that everyone can get a message in. So um, I am clairaudient. I am also intuitive and I am an empath. So we're going to go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I call upon our beautiful angels, ancestors, archangels, ascended masters, deities, Spirit guides, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, divine, most high God, our creator to shine a powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with my intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy number by vibration, synchronicity of my cards. And so it is, so mode it be our shade. So as I said, I am um Claire audience so I do incorporate music into my readings and they tend to blend very well with the tower read um, right now we have Nas and this song is uh, you won't see me tonight featuring Aaliyah <laughs> so some of y'all are not gonna be um, taking anybody up on their offer to come over to, for the holidays um, not even for the holidays but ever we got focused intention here so you all are manifesting something different I think you guys are in the zone. I think you all are uh, working on something. So you're not going to be um, as available. Because Nas, this song is called You Won't See Me Tonight. And it's featuring Aaliyah. So some of y'all are, you know, you're, you're busy. You know, you're busy, baby. You got other things brewing. You got other things going on. So you're going to be turning some offers down. People could be offering, you know, for you to or inviting you to their home, you know, for the holidays. And y'all are probably going to be, you know, saying no, turning down people's offers because you're focusing your intention on something else. And you don't want any distractions. You feel like it's going to be a big distraction um, being around certain people. Maybe it's even family. You're choosing to just do your own little private dinner in your crib because every year or every time you're around certain folks those certain family members those certain people <clears throat> within the group there's always like blow-ups there's always arguments and my throat is getting blocked so i feel like there's a lot of miscommunication and so for you to avoid it you're like nah i'm not going <laughs> i'm not gonna go i'm good because you're focused you're focused on something else so that that could be for some of y'all out there some of y'all are like nah i'm good on the bottom, see, what was I saying? You got your boundaries. You, you, you're you setting boundaries or you've set boundaries. So you're not allowing certain people back in because these are the very people that overstepped them and crossed them in the past. So that's why you like, nah, you ain't going to see me this year. <laughs> I learned my lesson from last year, beloved. No. So you all set boundaries. You're not, you're not with the shenanigans. You ain't with the shits. All right. So let's see what else is coming and going out, going on for our beloved collective divine spirit of love and light what else do you have for our beloved collective divine spirit of love and light thank you spirit okay they gave me a handful so this was the first card i saw see you want peace and more than you wanting it you are attracting it that's why you're focused on something because you are setting your intentions to create your reality so you're busy manifesting something and you're not allowing anyone to distract you from manifesting what it is you truly want. And what you're going to receive is this peace. Irene is assuring you that you're going to have peace. And this peace is not just peace of mind, but it's peace, period. You're going to have peace of mind. You're going to have peace within your home. 
You're going to have peace and not have to stress and worry over finances, love. I feel something is happening because the divine is saying, look, don't worry. Stop your worrying because everything is working out beautifully. So whatever you're manifesting, whatever this focused intention is that you are um, <clears throat> investing in whatever it is, whether it's a creative idea or whether you're manifesting someone new or manifesting a certain circumstance, it, it, it's going to bring a lot of peace. Irene is assisting you here. She's holding her child and she's carrying food, you know, groceries, produce. So that means you're going to be well fed. You're going to be well taken care of. You're going to find a partner with whom you're going to have a very uh, synchronized union, chemistry. There's going to be synergy. There's going to be love. You're going to be emotionally fulfilled. And all of your needs, wants, and desires are going to be provided. They're going to be taken care of. Because I feel like you've gone through some sort of purification process. And I feel like this baby that Irene is carrying is you. So it's like your angels, your guides, your gods, your deities, your ascended masters. They got you. Your ancestors. They're carrying you through this. So even in those moments where you feel alone, it's like you're not alone because they're carrying you. And so this is a very beautiful um, confirmation. We have compassion here, Quan Yin. So show compassion to yourself and don't judge yourself in this process, whatever it is you've been through, whatever it is you've gone through. We have the gas face playing by third base. So maybe you was getting um, gas lighted in some of your former relationships and the divine is telling you, look, those relationships were meant to teach you and now you have this peace because you've set boundaries. Now you have this peace because you've cut these people off. Now you have this peace because things are being balanced out for you. You've come, you've since done your due diligence to heal, to purge, to release. Because she's standing right in front of this water. So I feel like this is a thing of the past. You may have, you know, been disappointed from past loves, you know, from having fake ass friends and family members around you. And so now there's this sense of peace. There's this sense of purification, of release, of you recharging and recalibrating your body, your mind, your spirit, rejuvenating your soul. And this compassion is letting you know, like, there's no need to judge your journey or judge the journey of others. Just show compassion because we're all learning as we go. We are all learning and we all are teachers as well as students at the same time. So while you're being taught, you're also, you know, uh, uh, teaching someone else, you know. So it's a very reciprocal dynamic, you know, or it's a it's it's an, a, a, a it's a, an exchange, to be honest, because there's energy, you know. So this right here is showing that, you know, Kuan Yin is reminding you the, of the importance of being compassionate. You know, you don't have to be around everybody. Don't get that fucked up. But, you know, you definitely need to be more compassionate and more um, more mindful not to judge yourself and others. You know, focus on, you know, the love, the light. Focus on the purity. Focus on the, um, the job at hand. Because I do feel like with this gas face, I feel like a lot of y'all uh, were being gaslighted by somebody that was two-faced. You know, that was somebody that was, you know, keeping you kind of like on standstill. Always have you like in their back pocket. Because the name of this group is, is called Third Base. So that Third Base, this is, you know, that's a reference to, to baseball. You know, and that Third Base, they can't move unless somebody get up to, you know, get up to the uh, mound and they're able to knock that shit out the damn park. And then, then you can, you know, go on to the home, you know make a home run but that third base you'll be stuck in stagnant so maybe somebody kind of had you like in limbo you know was mistreating you and that's why you set those boundaries as i was saying initially but with this divine passion that's what you're focused on right now i feel like you're focused on something that you're very passionate about this could be like creative or artistic or could this could just be a personal endeavor but I feel like you are finally answering some sort of call within you. And this call is urging you, is nudging you, something you can no longer ignore. And that's why you're very focused on this. Because I feel like this brings you a lot of peace, you know, a lot of satisfaction. And you feel, you know, I feel also somebody else could be coming in that's going to make you feel very, you know, um, very sexy, very sensual. 
you know somebody that's gonna like kind of make you feel feelings you've never felt before and I feel like this is because you're you're starting to learn you you know to love yourself as you love yourself you teach other people how to treat you you know when you treat yourself better when you practice healthy self-care when you take care of you first when you set those boundaries when you set your standards higher you know so you've completely dis you know engaged from some sort of negative negative um, connection and so now you're you're feeling quite content and so now there's this passion you know you've discovered some sort of passion but I also feel like you're also um, manifesting a passionate new connection so right now we have let me turn this down a little bit I don't know how loud it is so this is Lord Finesse and Big L and it says um, yes you may so yeah I feel like you're gonna be very inviting because somebody finds you to be very attractive very beautiful they see you to be very unique you know you move to the beat of your own drum you know what I'm saying? Some of you all like to dance. You may um, do African dance as a form of um, exercise, you know, cardio. You know, maybe you do a little Latin dance. Maybe you do Zumba. But I feel like, or yoga. I just feel like this position, it's like, you know, some of you all are taking better care of your bodies, of your physical body. You know, you're, you're unblocking your chakras through this dance through this divine connection it's like you're connected to um and tapped into you know some sort of higher um spiritual um energy you know and it's erupting within you this this fire is exploding out of this volcano so i do feel like there's a sense that you know there's this this explosive this explosive um circumstance but you're definitely being more honest more forward more direct with what it is you need and you're not going to settle because it says yes you may so it's as if the divine is saying yes you may continue to move you know forward with you know this this you know whatever this is whether this is like a skill a talent this is a gift that you have you know whatever this is you could be honing something some sort of skill and the divine is like yes you may you may and there goes this medicine woman. Many of you are in the craft. You're very magical. You're very intuitive, clairvoyant, clairaudient, psychic, channelers. Some of you all scry. You know, you could just look at imagery and you see, or you could just look at an object and you see images. Or you could look at the, up in the sky at the clouds and you see images. Or in a puff of smoke when you're saging and smudging your home, you can see images. In the fire. You know, you could see imagery in the water even. So this is like speaking to your very powerful abilities. And I feel like you're tapping in, which is why you was like focusing your intention. Because I feel like you're now activated in some way. Some gift has been unlocked or unleashed within you with this divine passion. The divine is saying, yes, you may. It's almost as if the divine is now granting you the ability, the opportunity to utilize that gift. Because you've passed whatever the, you know, you've passed whatever um, little tests that he's set for you. So now you're coming completely into your power. You know, I feel like if you all sit and, and just quiet the mind, I feel like you'll receive a lot of divine downloads, transmissions and interventions from your higher self. And I feel like you all are in the practice, like you have an ability to help heal others, to guide others. See that? Some of you all may use music. Maybe you all are clairvoyant as well. And if you don't really listen to lyrics, like I've always been someone who can appreciate lyricism. That's why I can't rock with this new hip hop. That's just my particular, um, you know, opinion. Uh, because I'm a lyricist. I love the wordplay. I love the brilliance of putting words together, the soliloquies. I love all of that. So, you know, some of you all are the same way. You are an artist. You know, you are a musician. You are a writer. You are a producer. And your music is meant to heal others. You have a very healing ability with your music. It's like therapy. It's no different than when you turn on a Stevie Wonder song or a Temptation song or whatever, a Miles Davis, Billie Holiday, and the way it makes you feel, those emotions it stirs up inside of you that makes you feel like everything is good. And that's the gift that you all are in possession of, and that's the passion 
that you all are feeling. You feel very passionate about that gift. Some of you all are singers and your voice is like, you know, damn near Whitney Houston's, you know, status, you know, like you have a voice, you know. So it's like the divine is urging you, encouraging you to start unpack unpacking those gifts. And some of you all have already begun. So we have Don't Look Any Further uh, by Denny, um, Dennis Edwards playing right now. So I feel like the divine doesn't want you to look outside of self. Don't look any further than within yourself. So all the answers you're seeking, beloved collective, is going to be found within. Okay? That's that's where the answers lie. It doesn't rely. It doesn't even, um, you know, you may receive like... Um, little confirmation you know people can confirm what you already should know you already know the answers but it's like sometimes the problem is we question what we hear and that's why you have to trust your intuition that's why you have to be more compassionate because maybe you're not so trusting because of a particular dynamic you had in the past or an experience you had so now it's like this this hesitation but it's like be trusting of whatever it is you're feeling because you are very magical beings you're very powerful and you have healed yourself to be honest with you you've taken that necessary time to heal yourself you know the first step in knowing thyself is healing thyself then you when you heal thyself you begin to learn to love yourself and that's why health care you know healthy um you know self-care is of importance that's why the Quan yin is reminding you to be compassionate to yourself and to others and to focus only on the love and the light. The love of self and the light is like the truth. The light is the illumination, the clarity, but like having, you know, um, having a very um, deeper and more profound understanding of, of the why, so to speak. So let's get some messages from um, numerology, beloved spirit. All right, my beautiful collective. Let's see what we got coming in. We're 17 minutes in. So on the bottom of the deck, we have adventure. So yeah, don't look any further because you it's up to you to like, you know, change the direction of your life. You know, to be more adventurous, more daring, more risky. You know, be fearless this time. This, you know, at this junction, because with this 55, it's telling me that you've been through great changes. You've learned tremendous things. Like you've gone through enormous change. You've transformed. You've evolved. You've gone through an ascension or a leveling up process. It's like you've graduated. And so this 55 reduces to one. So that means that now this is about like moving to the beat of your own drum. Answer in that call not being fearful you know being honest with yourself that's the adventurous side being more spontaneous you know not doing things so regimented you know don't look any further you know maybe there was some sense of like I said like fear you know where you you felt confined or you felt you know like you stuck in this this comfort zone and it's like nah now you got to be honest with yourself now you have to do what it is that you know your heart is longing for, yearning for, asking for. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on for the beautiful collective beloved spirit. Thank you, spirit. What else is coming and going out going on for our beloved collective? One more shuffle and then we're going to break it up. Let's see. So divine spirit of love and light. What do you have for our beloved collective? Bottom of the deck, we have health. And so this health card, it is all orange. And then in the inside of this symbol is purple. So I always feel like this is per in pertinence to your mental health. So do not stress over anything. Worry is paying interest on problems that may never come. So sometimes people get stuck in this trap of worrying about something. And next thing you know, there's an opening or there's a path that opens up or somebody comes through and looks out for you. So it's like all that worrying and stress you did didn't really alleviate the problem. It just added more stress and strain on you. So it's like don't stress over things. This 71 reduces to eight. And so that's to me like that vibration of the eight of swords where there's like self-deception or there could be literal deception, um, you know, around you, which is why you had your boundaries. But the divine is reminding you to take your power back because this orange is the color of the sacral chakra. And that sacral is all about your power. It's about you standing and owning you know, your divinity, knowing the divinity of the divine feminine and masculine is creating. And so I feel like you are very psychic. You're very intuitive, but sometimes you get in your head. And so you have to be 
sure to trust what it is you know because I feel like the divine is giving you, oh wow, the name of this song is called New Position and this is by Prince. So the divine is assigning you a new role, a new position. This song is called New Position. That is something else. And, and this is why I utilize music with the reading because it just gives it that much more stank. You know what I'm saying? But yes, so you're being assigned a new position. And that's why you have to trust your own intuition and not listen to other people tell you about you. So that's why it's really important to, you know, trust what you're feeling. You know, trust the cycles and rhythms of your own body. All right. And that's why I always tell people never submit your will to anybody. You know, never submit your will. So divine spirit of love and light. All right. I just messed up my cards because I literally just broke up the cards and that health card was it but I guess I was supposed to do that so next we have love partnership all right so you're focusing your intention to manifest something new in terms of love you want a new connection you you are looking for a new position <clears throat> and this new position is to be happy to be fulfilled emotionally to be in a relationship that's like balanced that you feel safe and secure in this love partnership is really something that you're manifesting. That's what you're focused on. And it's not just, you know, love ships, but it's also all of your dynamics, relationships, friendships, your colleague connections. It's like you want there to be love, you know, and I feel like there's like wish fulfillment coming in this um, regard because this reduces to eight. So it's like you've been praying, wishing, hoping, setting intention. You've been doing visualization tactics to manifest this love partnership. So that's why you got your eyes on the prize and you're not around anybody that could block your blessings potentially right now we have Erica Badu didn't you know so the divine is saying didn't you know that what you are doing what you're manifesting is actually working because peace is here so I feel like a lot of y'all with this nature card a lot of you love to spend time in nature communicating with your angels your guides you know being out in nature really allows you to ground yourself it really allows you to kind of release some of you may walk barefooted footed in the grass to really ground yourself some of you do yoga out in nature some of you may do exercise out in nature cardio jogging and it's like you feel this connectedness with the divine with source with the universe with mother Gaia and so the divine is saying didn't you know that all the the answers that you seek are found within this 74 reduces to 11 some of you could have been born in the year 74 some of you could have been born on november 11 happy belated so that 11 11 portal there was a lot of divine downloads this purple inside of this symbol again and all around it is green so i feel like you all are emotionally content you're emotionally in equilibrium and i feel like you're also in equilibrium because you're listening to your own intuition you're using discernment and that's why erica badu is saying didn't you know because it's like you already know without knowing and sometimes that's why you question what you know and it's because of whatever you experienced in the past but that's why kwan yin is reminding you not to judge because everything you've been through good bad it's all been for your betterment. So it was to teach you to self-love. It was to teach you to be more discerning. It was to teach you to set up boundaries, whatever the case may be. But now there's this sense of deeper, more profound understanding. And when you're out in nature is when you may get the most downloads, most of the downloads you receive. Some of you all like to be by bodies of waters, you know, by the ocean, the river. You may sit and sit in silence and just meditate. Some of you all may just sit and look at the ocean. You know, some of you all may be even doing um, some sort of rituals, sending out, you know, um, offerings to like Mother uh, Mama Yemenya or Mama Oshun or any of the beautiful deities that you all connect with or ascended masters or angels, whatever. I feel like when you're in this environment, there's a lot that comes to you, transmissions, downloads, and divine interventions. And that's what you're listening to. So that's beautiful. So on the bottom of the deck, we have spirituality. So you're absolutely spiritual. This 77 tells me you're highly intuitive. And we know that because you've already pulled this medicine woman. And so the divine is telling you that you know who you are. Stop questioning it and stop asking people outside of yourself. Stop looking for the answers outside of self and just sit in silence and communicate directly with spirit. She's working directly with spirit, with directly with source. And the divine is giving her the download. So that's what you all need to do. Either through meditation, going out in nature, 
you know what I'm saying, sitting by bodies of water, you know, going to your favorite trail, or just sitting outside of your home in your backyard under that tree and just closing your eyes and connecting. But you all are spiritual beings. You have a very deep connection spiritually and you all are starting to answer that. And so <clears throat> let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. Right now we have um, Corey playing and this is by Dave East. So some of you all that could be tuning in, you may have somebody named Corey that could be of significance, whether it's a father, whether it's a brother, whether it's a lover, whether it's a friend, whether it's a cousin, whether it's an uncle, whether it's somebody that has transcended into the spirit realm, Corey is of significance. So we have healing. Maybe some of you all are hearing healing from a relationship with someone named Corey, you know, because you've had to take some time out. And that's why Kuan Yin is reminding you to stop judging yourself because that relationship, if it's meant to be, it will be. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing that could stop what's divinely meant for you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we have to pause so that we can focus on ourselves because we get so lost in the relationship. And sometimes we put up with shit we shouldn't put up with. So you're now healing. And that's what Kwan Yin wants you to do. She wants you to focus on the love and the light. This 66 reduces to 12, which reduces to 3. That 3 is about you taking the time out to assess the situation. You know, to me, three is the vibration of ready, set, go. So you're planning, you're preparing, and then you're going to take action to move forward. It's also the vibration of manifestation. So I feel like you're manifesting on a rapid level. You know, you're healing at a rapid speed. And this is because all this whole card is blue. So I feel like by you, and is this blue or is it purple? I can't even tell because I got these lights um, in here. But I feel like it's blue, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it is purple. Dang, I don't know. I'm not sure what color it is, but at the end of the day, um, this being the sixth chakra, I do feel like with, with you um, listening to your own intuition, because the sixth chakra is your first eye. So your first eye is allowing for you to heal on a, you know, on a more, I feel like on a, a, a more rapid pace, you know, at a quicker rate. Um, and it's because, you know, maybe you've suffered from heartache, you know, a breakup. Somebody was overstepping their boundaries with you at some point, And that's why you were establishing them in the beginning of the read. And so I feel like you're healing from that situation. And you're healing from it because you're realizing, like, you know, things don't happen to you. It happens for you. And ultimately, what didn't kill you, it made you stronger. And if something isn't growing, it's dead. So now you're learning to trust that process. And you're learning to also not judge yourself because of what took place or to even judge the other person because sometimes people know not what they do and so you as long as you're healing and you're healthy then you won't carry animosity and anger and resent and contempt in your heart when you don't heal that you'll stay stuck in the past and I feel for a lot of you all you're you're looking at the front door so to speak you're focused on the future you're focused on you know exiting anything that does not honor you so what we have next is physical oh sorry we got communication here sorry communication so yep you're communicating to your higher self with your higher self receiving those downloads your divine ancestors with this 33 you're in harmony so whatever this passion is makes you feel harmonious it makes you feel this state of oneness wholeness and balance it makes you feel like you're in alignment with yourself and that's why the divine is telling you to listen to that inner gumption listen to that call whatever is calling and pulling and tugging on you emotionally from internal that's what you need to do you also so some of you all may receive a very passionate um, phone call. Someone may reveal to you their feelings. Uh, maybe this person, Corey, may call you back and apologize because they're realizing this passion they have. Maybe that's why you are finding it very difficult to let them go because you love them very deeply. You know, and I feel like this person, Corey, whoever this is, um, that Dave East is calling about. And the person could be named Corey. They could live on the East Coast or they could be named David. So it could be David, Dave, Corey, um, and I feel like this person is a little paranoid or maybe, you know, a little, I feel hesitant to communicate with you because maybe they see you in your power. Maybe they see all the steps you took to release, you know, the boundaries that you have set. And so now there's a little hesitation, um, you know, um. But yeah, so that's what we have. And then we have physical activity. So yeah, I was picking up on you all maybe doing African dance or maybe you all are doing some sort of um, yoga outside, 
you know, you're connecting, you're grounding yourself. You know, you're being more active. You know, you're doing more physical activities, more cardio, jogging, walking, you know, just being out in nature. We saw the nature card come out. So you all feel peace and, and, and serenity when you're out in nature. You feel like you receive those downloads. We have this medicine woman that we're about to connect to. So I feel like a lot of you are being more proactive um, in, you know, this, this particular skill or this particular gift that you have. With this 67, that reduces to 13. So 13 reduces to four. So I do feel like this is making you feel a little more, um, more solid, you know, more stable. You know, you feel, you know, stronger in this process because I feel like you're, you're beginning to grow your confidence. You know what I'm saying? And we have Renee and Angela. You don't have to cry, you know, so, <laughs> you know, you don't have to cry, um, you know, when it comes to. You know, whatever that physical, you know, um, activity is, it's like it's good for you. I'm getting like maybe some of y'all don't like to exercise or some of y'all, you know, know you need to start being more physically active. But you 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 kind of like you avoid it because you don't like to go out and run. Maybe some of y'all like I don't like bugs or it's too cold. I don't want to be out here, you know, you know, but the divine is like, look, you don't have to cry and whine. It's what's best for you. Even if you start off just bundling up and just walking, walk for a mile, walk for two miles. That's the physical activity you need. Cause I feel like the divine is almost like giving you, um, it's like they're assigning you because remember you had that, that song, it was saying something about you being assigned or you being like, it was like, ah, dang, I forgot the song. But it was like you were being assigned a role, like the divine was assigning you this position. Oh, it was called New Position by Prince. Thank you, Spirit. So this new position, that's what you're crying about. It's like some of y'all are crying because it's like you don't feel prepared, but you absolutely are prepared. So let's see, why is this um, here? So we have individuality. So coming into your own, you know, coming into your own, answering that call this individuality is about being independent self-sufficient self-reliant that's something that you also had to learn maybe you all were in codependent relationships or you were codependent on someone you know what i'm saying and now there's a sense of you finally being able to stand erect stand alone stand in your power and not back down from situations communicate what you need i feel during that 11 11 portal i feel like you were activated especially during that lunar eclipse that you were activated that something within you was activated, like your ancestors, your guides, they activated you to this power, to this power. This is your power. You know what I'm saying? You are a healer, a shaman, light worker, a clairvoyant, clairaudient, psychic, a channeler, a musician. You are of the craft. You have a skill. Surrender to it. You don't have to cry. You know, maybe some of y'all don't feel prepared, ready. Some of y'all don't really trust and, and the divine is telling you it's time to surrender. This 91 reduces to 10. So this 91 is telling you like, like this is, you know, every ending denotes a new beginning. So that, that fearlessness needs to end. This, you need to surrender to this call because the divine has assigned you this role. Trust your intuition as well. You're on, you're starting a whole new path, a whole new journey. This is a whole new junction. So trust. So let's get a couple more messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So let's see what we got. My cat looked at me like I was crazy. Like, uh, was all that necessary? <laughs> I'm sorry, Katara. I woke you up. I apologize, my love. She's looking at me like, for real, for real? All right, so let's get some messages from, um, let me see. Do I want to do Gilded? I want to do the African-American Tarot. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with something lighthearted. Because I don't want to look up no funky energy. Because them funky folks can keep their ass a pushing. We ain't going to give them no shine today. Not today. All right, let's see. So you don't have to cry. So don't cry, beloveds. Don't cry. Don't cry. Try your eye. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let me stop. So the, here we go. This is what we have right here. The four of swords. So look at this. You're on your way up. You know, so this this alludes to the fact that you've been healing, you've been growing, but be stand stay clear of the people who could be the distractions. Because remember, 
that's what you was keeping focused. You was focusing, you know, on whatever this is that you're manifesting. And I feel like somebody may try to potentially come back to distract you off your path because you see how he's heading up the stairs, which means you're moving on. But then somebody is trying to get your attention to come back down. And because he's just starting this journey, it could potentially, um, you know, turn out that this person does mistakenly turn back around and then they caught up in the rapture all over again. So it's like stay focused. Keep your eyes on the try on the prize. Focused intention and what you're desiring, what you're calling, what you're manifesting is a true love partnership. So I feel somebody from your past because this person is looking, you know, backwards. Like you know, somebody's trying to like get their attention. Like, hey, come here, and it's like, nah, keep it pushing upward and onward. All right, so don't allow anybody, you know, to distract you off your path and off course. And so we have praise his name by Barrington Levy. So praise his name. And we got the Ten of Wands. Praise his name for being able to survive whatever these pitfalls were. You know, being able to finally gain the wise dome, the wisdom to get past this. Because you was dealing with a lot of one-sided, non-reciprocal connections, carrying the burdens on your own. You're finally relieving, relieving yourself of those burdens. You're finally letting go. You're finally realizing that you deserve better. You're finally in a standing. And I feel like you know that you, you could not have gotten through this without a higher power. You sought wise counsel from your angels, your guides, your ancestors, and they gave you the direction, spiritual guidance to get through this. So now this 10, what do you think that reduces to? One. So all these burdens, all these lessons you've learned along this journey, it has made you wiser. That's why this owl is here. And this owl is about to land, it looks like, on his, on his arm. So it's that guaranteeing that you have made these um, changes. You were very instrumental in the changes you've made. But your angels, the, the Most High, was very intricate in assisting you. That's why you were being held by Irene. I was feeling like you are this baby that's being held by this beautiful angel. You're this baby, and that's why you have this happiness. And you're royalty, because he's wearing this purple like cover-up. So it's like you're royal. And you're royal because you have a divine gift. You've been assigned a role. You have a... A mission, a soul's mission, a life's path, journey that you are here to enact upon. And that's why you had to go with, through what you went through. That's why you had to learn to establish boundaries. That's why you had to learn to cut the things, people, pay, uh, places the, out of your life that wasn't serving your highest good. And that's why you're ascending. This is like ascension, growth, elevating, leveling up. And don't let these people distract you. This man is working and somebody's talking to him while he's sitting there studying. How are you going to interrupt somebody studying? So don't allow anything to distract you. A thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. So ig the ignorance and give thanks. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's get some messages. Thank you, spirit. So let's clarify these messages. So why is this focus, intention, and love partnership here? And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So you absolutely are manifesting. You ain't playing with it. You know what I'm saying? You're focusing your intention because, like I said, you want somebody that's going to speak your love language. You want healthy dynamics. You know what I'm saying? You want equal give and take. You just want there to be a sense of, like, you know, healthy communication, attentiveness, affection. You want there to be a sense of loyalty and faithfulness and trust within these connections. You also want there to be some sense of stability. Some sense of like, you know, investing long term, building legacy, being able to grow and trust the people, being willing and able to compromise with a person. This is beautiful because the divine is saying, and so it is, and so mote it be, Ashe. Because your wish is being granted. The divine is handing you someone that's going to give gift you something tangible. So these are tangibles. So this love partnership is going to be um, something very... Um, Beautiful. I feel like it's going to be like equal give and take. You know what I'm saying? This time around, it's no longer going to be one sided. And we have praise his name, you know, and this is again by Barrington Levy. So right now we have Roll Some Mo by Lucky Days. So this is going to be your lucky day when this person enters into your life that you have manifested. That you have really set your intentions on and called upon your ancestors and guides. They heard every prayer, every petition. They read every 
every um, manifestation um, entry in your journal and they're granting you this ace of pentacles this is a new financial beginning start this is something you receiving something tangible like a wish fulfillment a blessing doors opening up someone offering you a deep love connection coming into union with a spiritual partner this is dope i love that that's beautiful bottom of the deck we have the star you're seen as a star what did I say about wish fulfillment? So everything that you have gone through, what did I say? It wasn't, it didn't happen to you. It happened for you. You've learned valuable lessons and you've made it to the top of the peak. So you're at your peak because now you understand balance. You understand how to transmute negative, negative energy. You've, you've, you've learned through the process. You know what I'm saying? That, that you are, you know, your vulnerabilities are your superpower. So you are absolutely magical. You are absolutely powerful. And you learned you're the alchemist in the situation that you change your reality by focusing your intention. So you've answered that call. You realize you're the magician that you can transmute, trans, you know, tr um, transform your circumstances and your situations. And now there's wish fulfillment. There's a sense of your wishes being granted because you've done your due diligence. And that's why this piece is here. She looks very at ease. She's not worried. She's not concerned. You know what I'm saying? And this is a very vulnerable state because she's naked. So that's why I said you've turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower. And now you know how to, you know, utilize the elements around you. Water, fire, earth, air, ether. Some of you all love being out in nature. You could be earth signs. You could be water signs. Like you all have, you know, this very strong and profound connection to the divine. You know? All right. So we have now Nas the Dawn. So, yeah, you are... The Don, <laughs> you are the master and sole controller of your own destiny. That is a beautiful, beautiful revelation. So Divine Spirit, why is Irene and nature here for our beloved collective? So you got the, native, um, the Knight of Cups. So what did I say? A new connection is brewing. It's developing, you know, and I feel like this person is going to come in very chivalrous, charming, kind. This person is absolutely someone who could be smitten with you. They love the fact that you are down to earth. They feel like they can approach you, you know, but I also feel like this connection will turn into a very harmonious union, a spiritual union. This could be someone that you already know or someone that is already like you're acquainted with this person. Or even if this is not, um, this could be someone that you're going to feel like you've known them forever. You're going to feel like, you know, you've you've had this dance, so to speak, with this person because you you both of you are like in sync. It's like you're, there's this synergy, this chemistry, this connection. See how these both of these dolphins are like both, you know, jumping out of the water at the same time. And so that's why I feel like when this person comes in, there's going to be like this deep connection chemistry. This is beautiful. I love this. This is cute. I love it. How cute. So on the bottom of the deck, look at that. Can't make this shit up. Ten of cups. This is where you're, let, you're, you're heading to. This is the epitome of that happy house, happy spouse. So this person is absolutely going to turn into your divine masculine, your divine feminine. I feel like you're, you're going to bring families together. And this is like the, a positive change that's taking place because Mama Oya is the controller of change. She she deals with change. She's really um, profound in making this change. So I feel like your ancestors, your deities are kind of like aligning you with this person. They're sending you the right person because they've heard your prayers. They've heard your call. They know what you're setting your intentions on. They know what you're manifesting. So that's why you're learn, you've learned compassion so that in this new relationship, you'll be emotionally intelligent. You know what I'm saying? You won't perpetuate some of the things you've done in your former relationships or carry some of the baggage from your former relationships into this new beautiful union. Because this right here is like the yang to your yin. This is like, you know, soulmate energy. This is past life energy. This is someone who's going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled, happy, joyful. Your families are going to be like, you, you, they're just going to like tend to get along really well, blend in together. Like it's going to be a beautiful union. You know what I'm saying? And this is something you've manifested. So this is that happy house, happy spouse, that happily ever after type of vibration. And that's why healing was of importance because you have to heal that self in order to love that self. And in order for you to know what love is, if you're still struggling and healing, um, you know, past pains, then 
you're, you're not prepared for something new. So that's why it was very important and very intricate for you to show compassion, not only to yourself, to other people as well. So when you forgive that past person, then and only then can you now be open to the new, open to love somebody else. That's beautiful. I love this message for y'all. So divine spirit of love and light, why is um, Quan Yin compassion here and healing for the collective? Thank you, spirit. And so look at this. Next, we have the two of swords. So this is you making a very conscious decision. You know, this is you really going within and asking your angels and guides for direction. This is why I was picking up on the fact that you all needed to kind of sit in silence, meditate and not question, you know, follow your own intuition, use discernment. So whatever this is, this confusion um, that has you kind of stuck in limbo, because it's like, you know, a part of you wants this and a part of you wants that. So it's like a part of y'all may still be stuck on the past. A part of y'all may still have those, you know, residual feelings. And that's what you're healing. So the divine is telling you. To, you know, make the decision to heal completely so that when you do attract someone to you, they'll be attracted to, you know, um, this healthy version of you opposed to, um, you know, this 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 uh, traumatized and bruised and damaged, scorned version of you, because I do see that healing is here. So you are making conscious decisions. You know, this is like making a head over heart opposed to, you know, using your emotions to make the decision. This time around, you're kind of using head over heart because you know that that's the best thing to do because you know that you do love that person, but you know that loving that person may not be the best, um, you know, the best circumstance for you. So here we have the queen of wands. So yeah, you're, you're taking control and this is, we're about to clarify the passion and the queen of wands is all about passion. So you're very beautiful, very attractive, very alluring. You know, I feel a lot of you, you have a very, um, a very sexy kind of way, very sensual, um, way. And I feel like a lot of people, um, are drawn to you, you know, kind of, you know, you find yourself, if you're feminine energy, you, you, you may get a lot of attention. Um, but I do see that you all have finally transformed. You've changed. This snake definitely um, will allude to the fact that you all have changed. You know, you've changed something. Something in you is changing. And you are absolutely going to answer the call with this Queen of Wands because she takes action. So whatever this divine passion is, whatever this calling is, you're absolutely going to move forward and take action to answer that call. And you're going to be honest with yourself. You're going to be honest with yourself. You're going to be honest with this process, this communication. So somebody could also be, you know, reaching out to you to communicate their attraction, their desire, you know, this fire, this passion, you know, this, this, this love that they feel. And I feel like there's going to be some movement. I'm hearing there's going to be movement forward. So that's beautiful. So why is passion here? Thank you, spirit. And then we have the eight of swords. See, what did I say? Somebody kind of like up in their head. Because remember that song by Dave East was playing Corey. And then the name of that album was called Paranoia. So I was saying that somebody was a little like, um, perhaps they was a little like intimidated, confused, conflicted, you know, unsure, uncertain, you know, lacking confidence, sort of. I don't know what's going on with my um, iPod. It froze up on me. So right now we have the dawn playing by Nas. So see that? So this person may see you as somebody, like I said, moving to the beat of your drum, you know, fearless, taking action. And this person really wants to communicate with you. But look at this eight of swords. So this person could be like penning you letters or typing up letters, you know, via text or send it like typing up emails or whatever. But then they don't send it because they're up in their head. So it's like this is like self-deception. You know, they're deceiving themselves. This could be like I was picking up somebody from your past. Because remember that song Corey was playing. And this person, you know, maybe they're a little proud because they're used to being the dawn. They're used to being chased. You know, they're used to people like sweating them. And it's like you, you, you aren't. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you fly too. Shit, you like, nigga, I'm dope too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I can attract and pull just as many as you can. You know, but you ain't even on it like that. You're just doing you. You know, you're doing you without, you know, trying to, um, you know, to showboat or, you know, act all, you know, overzealous and stuff. But this energy, like this person is like literally like, damn, you know, how do I make this call? You know, somebody's up in their head. 
you know, they stressing over this, trying to, you know, kind of stressing. And I feel like it's the dawn. It's the person that's used to being like the player, used to getting all the attention, used to having everybody kind of like draw in on them. This could even be feminine energy. It's not just masculine. Maybe this is a feminine who's so used to men just, you know, throwing themselves at them. And that's not happening now because maybe the masculine in the situation learned to like pull back. Because he's like, look, you you, 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 you ain't all that. I mean, you cute, but underneath all that cuteness, what is what's there? You know. So here we have the Eight of Cups. So what is that? That's walking away and choosing yourself. That's like, yo, self love makes me more attractive. So I feel like with this gesture, this shows that somebody is coming out of this Eight of Swords energy, and they're looking to right their wrongs. You know, maybe they understand or understand why you stood your ground, why you left the situation. Because this looks like somebody kind of, you know, stating their poise, point, um, stating their point, or stating their case, or um, standing in their power, debating something. And so this person could be coming back to like, you know, almost like apologize. You know what I'm saying? Because the name of this song is The Dawn. So I feel like, yeah, this person is like coming back um, more humbled. You know what I'm saying? They, and they don't care who sees. They're going to do this in front of everybody. Maybe this will be something that will be done like online, like a public apology or something like that. But I feel like you walked away from this connection because this person was leaving you emotionally bankrupt. So it was like you felt like you was pouring into the vessel, pouring into the vessel, but there was holes on the bottom of the goddamn vessel. And, and, and this person wasn't receiving it. They weren't appreciating it and so you got tired of giving to someone that was not willing to reciprocate and so you left and so you know you you, you cussed them out before you left <laughs> but I feel like you made your point because this person did some soul searching I feel and now that's why they're like coming back and he's reaching out to like offer an apology of some sort so I also feel like with this energy because we're about to clarify the medicine woman and this individuality you've learned to stand in your power by choosing your self-respect you know by standing in your power you know showing that strength that courage and that wisdom to persevere through whatever regardless of what anybody was trying to tell you you knew that you had to teach people how to treat you because you was dealing with a lot of codependency you know, you may have had like leeches, parasites, people just always trying to, you know, cling to you to get what they wanted. Or maybe it was vice versa. You felt really, um, you know, maybe you dealt with like abandonment issues in your childhood. So you would cling to relationships, whether they were healthy for you or not. And so you had to release that mindset, that ideology, that belief system. And you had to realize that your independence was the foundation for your strength, for your stability, for your happiness, for your peace of mind, for your security, for your success. And so that's why here with this Eight of Cups, I feel like there's going to be some sort of, you know, positive outcome and I feel like you're teaching people that's why with this card because it's like you know every great healer had to first heal themselves and so I feel like people are watching you in this process of healing thyself and it's helping to awaken them to the process that's why you're being assigned this role and we have bear witness so see that these people are bearing witness to the healing that you're doing to you recapture you know to regaining your individuality to you finally you know, accepting this role as that medicine woman or that medicine man, that healer, that shaman, that light worker, that clairvoyant, clairaudient person. Oh, this is freaking dope, yo. This is dope. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is medicine woman and individuality here for the collective divine spirit of love and light? So we have bear witness by Dr. Octagon, which is cool Keith. So yeah, they're bearing witness to you healing. You know, the divine has also has bear witness to the work, the great work you've done. You've healed at a soul level. You've definitely been soul searching. That's beautiful. Bottom of the deck, we have the four of wands. So you're coming into your stability. Look at that. So you was dealing with somebody, you know, you took action, but I feel like you was dealing with someone. This is what you had to heal yourself from. This is somebody who was pretty codependent on you, you know, pretty codependent. This is that person that's flighty. The Knight of Wands in and out, unreliable. You know what I'm saying? Flighty, constantly on the go, you know, and moving only with, you know, the interest of satisfact, satisfying those lusts, those desires. You know what I'm saying? Some of them, you know, definitely burned you, burned you, hurt you. And that's why I was picking up on the energy of like every you know, great healer had to heal themselves. That's what taught you individuality because you was, you know, stuck in a codependent relationship with somebody who was very immature or somebody who just simply was non-committal. 
This is not somebody that's the commitment type. They're a commitment fold. They like to fly. They like to, you know, come in, go out. And that's what you was dealing with. But I feel ultimately by dealing with this person, this is what led to you regaining your stability, your self-sufficiency, your independence. And this is also what's leading to you coming into a spiritual union. This four of wands is the 1111 vibration. So that's why you're coming into this union with this person that is like your the yang to your yin, the yin to your yang, a soulmate. Because that's what you've been manifesting. That's what you've been calling in. And so the ancestors, your angels, your guides, your spirit team, the ascended masters are answering the call. So this is you. You'll be coming into a marriage partnership and everybody's going to bear witness. So when you bear witness, that's like what takes place at a marriage ceremony. You have all the guests. They are the witnesses to the union that's taking place. So this is going to be a spiritual union. And this is with someone that you've manifested. And this is also someone that's going to be your divine masculine or feminine. So this is your beautiful reading, beloved, beloved collective. I hope that this reading resonated with you all. Um... If you found that it did, I hope that you would be so kind to hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification um, so that you know whenever I upload. Um, if you are new, I hope that you stay a while. Uh, and if you are returning uh, to the channel, you already know what it is. Beloved's love is love is love. I want to make um, an announcement. I will be... Um, you know, once I hit the 5,000 mark, uh, I will be... I don't even have it here. Hold on one moment. All right. Sorry about that. I thought I had my wand here. So um, I will be giving this wand, this magical wand, away. This is something that I made. Um, I found this beautiful tree branch out in nature, and I transformed it into a magical wand. When I hit the 5,000 mark, I'm going to do a giveaway. So stay tuned for that, okay? But I just wanted to say thank you for tuning in. Peace.